In this video, we'll learn how to display a double quotation mark using an Excel formula. For each person in this table, we know their height. We have the feet in column C and the inches in column D. But now in column E, we want to display their height. For example, person A, we would say five apostrophe to double quotation mark to indicate five foot two. But instead of typing it manually, we want a way to display that using a formula that we can then just copy down and use for all six people in the list. The way we do that is by typing in equals to start the formula, C10, which will bring back the five, then an ampersand or the and sign. And now we want a string of text just being the apostrophe. So to tell Excel we have a string of text, we type a double quotation mark and then our apostrophe. And then we finish the string of text by typing another double quotation mark. Enter. So we can see we have five feet. So I'll press F2 to edit this cell because we want to keep going. We need to add the two inches as well. So I'll add another ampersand or an and sign. And now I'm adding D10. Let's press enter again. There we can see five foot two. But to add the double, the double quotation mark at the end, there's a bit of a trick to it. So we'll add another ampersand, open the double quotation mark. Now we will type a double quotation mark, but if we just have one quotation mark between two others, we'll get an error because Excel is confused by what's going on there. The way we get around it is by adding another double quotation mark. And I'll explain to you what's going on here. The first one starts the string of text. The second one is an escape character. It says if there's another double quotation mark after this one, then we want to display that one. We don't, we're not using it to indicate the end of a string of text. So that's the third one. It's one we're displaying. And then the fourth one is the one that closes the string of text. So let's see what happens. Enter. And there we go. So if I double click on the little square, we'll copy down and we can see the formula works every time. Now it actually becomes a bit tricky sometimes, especially in long complicated formulas to count all of these double quotation marks. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three, or in a case like this, there might be four. So what we can do instead is use the character function, C-H-A-R. So let's use that one in column G. So I'll go equals C10 again. And instead of typing the apostrophe or showing it as a string of text, I will use the character function there. It's character 39. Let's see what happens five feet and D10 and character 34. Enter and there we have it. So if we copy that down, we can see it works perfectly every time. C10 apostrophe D10 and then the double quotation mark for the inches. Thanks, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like if you did. Also feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.